Good morning, Panzers. I am so freaking tired. I had kind of a long, weird weekend. We had a show this weekend, um, a festival. The, it's called Fordham Quad Days. So we had a booth there this weekend. We were vendors. It's the first festival that we have done outside of our own local farmer's market, which is now defunct. This is a thing we're gonna start doing now. It was fun, but it was really, it was tiring because I haven't had a day off since last weekend and I'm not going to get another day off until the weekend after next. Sometime around the 14th, I should get a day off, I hope. And Tammy, the fudge lady, the, you know, the woman with the fudge shop, she had a booth too, next door to us, in fact. Uh, which we requested partly because it would just be kind of fun to be next to each other but also because she had a family thing that she had to be at part of the day on saturday the person that they were going to get to watch the booth it fell through so she asked if we would watch the booth for her. i started out you know doing our booth and then in the afternoon for a few hours i was running tammy's booth tammy's booth is a lot like busier than our booth because tammy has fudge and people like fudge a lot so that was tiring because I was running it by myself. She has a double booth space that is completely filled with fudge samples. So you can get a lot of customers lined up in 20 foot of space and they all want fudge. So that was busy. Tammy's booth was on our right and then on our left was the blacksmith booth, which was interesting, although kind of loud because he was working the whole time. I never actually got out of our booth other than to work Tammy's booth. I never actually got out of our booth at any point except to go to the bathroom. So I actually have no idea what was going on really in the rest of the festival. I never saw anybody else's booth like any of the vendors and I never left the vendor area at all so I have no idea what any of the stuff was like the actual activities that were happening. There were some people in costumes too but none of the costumes really went together like some of them were like Civil War costumes and some of them were um, other military costumes or I saw one girl wandering around in a, a sort of miniature kangaroo costume like she was wearing sort of a brown onesie and it had a tail and then in the middle of her stomach like a little kangaroo head like sort of like a pantomime horse only small. Mom said it was a kangaroo anyway. I never really got a good look at the front of it so all I could really tell you for sure was that it was a girl wandering around in a brown onesie with a tail and some kind of animal coming out of her stomach like alien. And then there was this guy, one of the Civil War reenactors. I don't know exactly what was going on. There was the Civil War reenactors were doing something at the festival and there was some kind of a parade that I'm assuming they were in but I don't know because I had to leave my booth. But at one point on Sunday this guy showed up at our booth and he was over at the fudge booth first and he was talking to them in a perfectly normal way. He had wandered off and then he came back and came over to our booth and he started talking and he seemed reasonably normal at first, like he's just, you know, like kind of making chit chat. You know, a little bit weird, like clearly kind of obsessive about, you know, his hobby. But lots of people are obsessive about their hobbies and he was a little bit, um, you know, abrasive. But okay. And then my mom asked him a question about, he had these two medals on his costume. And, and so my mom asked him something about him thinking that they were a Civil War medal of some kind. They were from um, Civil War, like societies that he belonged to like reenactment societies and then he starts like kind of going off on this weird tangent about these two societies that he belonged to and how you know this one was okay but the the guy that ran it was a jerk and then he starts going off on this tangent about this guy and we're like okay and we're kind of smiling and nodding like all right eventually he winds down and he starts talking about the other society and how it, you know he really liked that one better but that he couldn't afford to go to it anymore because it was too far from where he lived it was a long drive and he couldn't afford the gas and then things started to get weird because then he started talking about gas prices and then he started talking about how the government is raising the gas prices and then they send the money to Afghanistan to fund terrorism and he would not shut up. And I was like, dude, if I wanted to talk about conspiracy theories, I have people for that. I live in Oregon. I live near Eugene. 
I know many, many people with many, many conspiracies of all kinds. If I wanted to go talk about conspiracy theories with someone, I would not have to pay a booth fee and go to a festival to be accosted by strangers. And we were really polite to him and we smiled and nodded until he went away, which was not nearly soon enough for my liking. I don't want to talk about terrorism, go away! He was the only person we, we had to deal with who was like, kind of a pain in the ass. Everybody else was really nice. I mean, there were a couple people, anytime you deal with the public, there are always gonna be a couple people who are like, kind of rude. Most people were like, really, really nice. We had some really nice conversations with people. A lot of people had their dogs out, and so we got to pet some cute dogs, and that's always nice. It was good, it was fun. I, I'm glad we went. I'd never been to that venue before either. They, they have a, a butterfly center there and apparently they released some butterflies during the thing. I missed it because I was in my booth. I'd never been there before so it was kind of nice just to like see what the area looked like. We have another show next weekend which is why I'm not going to have any days off for a while. But this one is at my old college campus, so there I, I at least know my way around. But I've never been to this festival before either. It's the Umqua Valley uh, Wine, Art, and Music Festival. It's been going on for a long time, but I've never been to it, so I don't really know what to expect from the festival. But at least I know the campus, so I can find stuff. Tammy's gonna be at that too, and we're going to be near one another again, so that'll be nice. Though hopefully I won't have to work her booth. If my videos seem a little bit frazzled for the next like week or two, it's probably because I haven't slept very much. Although, I mean, there's a distinct possibility that they will seem exactly the same as my regular videos, because my regular videos seem pretty... You guys might not notice any difference at all. I'm wearing my Keep Calm and Don't Forget to Be Awesome t-shirt today. I walked into the fudge shop, and Tammy read my shirt out loud and went, aww. I thought about explaining Nerdfighteria, but there's no quick and easy way to do that, so I just let it go. So assuming that I live through the weekend, I will see you guys next Tuesday. Don't forget to be awesome.